Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have my melting basket for the month of November. It may seem a little bit less individual pieces wise, but a lot of the things that I have are like larger bags or just larger amounts of wax in a certain sense. So I don't expect that I'm gonna get through all of this, even though it's a lot less than my usual pick, but because there's the amounts of each are quite a bit, um, that's where I think I'm like just gonna cruise. I didn't wanna put too, too much in here. So anyway, before we get started, I'm on my last day of these nails. This is a magnetized nail polish color by Hollow Taco in the color Xyler Cat Eye. Christine, or the owner of Hollow Taco, this is her birthday release that she has two cats, Xyler and Menchi, and she dedicated two polishes, each with different colors to match her cat's eyes. And this is Xyler's eye color. All right, so let's get on to some of the wax that we have to talk about. So first of all, we're gonna talk about some Walmart wax. I'm just gonna bring it into the picture. We have Iced Winter Cranberry from Better Homes and Gardens. And then we have Noble Fir and Pine. Uh, this is Fir Needles, Pine Sap, Cedar, Herbs, and Holly. That's something that I didn't get to chance. A lot of these I'm bringing over from last year. But then we have a couple, let's see, this is a, oh, this one and this one. So we have Sugared Lavender Twist and Lavender Lemonade, which are tri-tested true scents I love for the bedroom. So the lavender, or sorry, the sugared lavender twist is raspberries, orange, red fig, pink sugar, vanilla, orchid, lavender, vanilla sugar, and amber. So that's great one for the bedroom. And another one here is Lavender Lemonade, and this one is described as lemon, sugar, pineapple water, lavender, melon, and vanilla. Beautiful. And then we have the Vanilla Cookie Crunch, which um, there's a couple scents coming up I'm a little bit weary about, I'll explain. And if I don't like the scent, I'll just add a cube of this to something I'm like, I don't know, because this is just a nice creamy vanilla scent. You can't go wrong with those. And then we have here the Sugared Plum and Pomegranate. Now I'm a little bit <laughs> worried because I'm not a pomegranate fan. So with that being said, this is Sugared Plum, Pink Pomegranate, Fig, Clove, Cedarwood, and Patchouli. And pomegranate for me, for whatever reason tends to make my throat go really dry when I smell it and I just like I need water <laughs> I don't know why it's just that's how it is that's just how it is and then let's move on to another set of Walmart wax this is cider house donuts I purchased a whole sleeve of this when I was in the U.S. last it was very popular and then we have uh, you can get this in Canada this is magic spell which is a dupe for Victoria's Secret's love spell so I love this one in the bedroom I love it just bring me back to when I was in my 20s like, I love it no place like home this is one of the ones I'm a little worried about because I have a funny feeling this says sweet cinnamon and clove I hope it's not too cinnamony if it is I will add one of those cubes of that cookie vanilla cookie crunch to this as well so i'm a little bit worried about that but also while we're on that same with this i think it might be a bit too caramelly but we'll find out we'll try it out this is the caramel apple spice so we'll see again i will add that other vanilla cookie crunch if i need to then we have blue sky this is one i love melting in the bathrooms this is just a beautiful fresh scent that i would buy a sleeve every time i would go in make sure i'm stocked up for the year it's kind of like one of those scents that i would pull for almost every month in my melting basket and then we have some Super Tarts Bam Bags. Now, Super Tarts Bam Bags, which is, this one's a full one. This one I've been using a little bit of. Um, it's the weight of three of these types of clamshells worth of wax cut up into different sizes in one bag. So Super Tarts is one of my top vendors to purchase from, and I love her scents, but because they're a larger amounts, it's gonna take me a while to get through these all, because once I start a fragrance or a scent, I generally go through the entire bag until it's done. That's just how I am. It's like coloring in the lines and I never went on to a different picture to color in until the first one I was working on was done. That's just me and my anal retentiveness or whatever you want to call it. This is Mystique. This is a repurchase for me. This is shaving cream and pink sugar. It's gorgeous, beautiful. One of my favorite chai tea latte scents. This is Hedwig. You guys know if you're a Harry Potter fan like myself, you will probably recognize what that means or who that is. This is chai tea creamy cheese cake and clove. So nice on weekends. And then this one here I was working on as well in October. I'm rolling it over to November's uh, melting basket. Brody's Bounty. Now this is the Jaws blend, but mixed with blackberries. So Jaws is sea salt, ozone, sea, seagrass, plum, pear, and blackberry. Blackberry makes it Brody's Bounty. It's gorgeous. Then we have Frankenstein. This is another coffee one. This is coffee, pumpkin pie, vanilla wafers. I've never tried this one before, so I'm curious to see how that does. And then this one here is Spread the Love. Blackberry jam and zucchini bread with 
toasted, sorry, toasted marshmallow. I think it was a different name that she's renamed them a lot. Um, anyway, that's this one here. So I love the band bags, but they are a lot of whack. So anyway, we'll get through those. Alrighty, now I'm going to try to remember to link a video above here and show you guys how I, like and why and how I was chopping my three wick candles from Bath and Body Works. It's a pretty easy process to do. And a lot of people do it to prolong the life of their candles, use them as, can as wax melts like we're talking about today, rather than just a candle. Because these days you never know if you're gonna get a good candle or a bad candle, a good burn or a bad burn. And sometimes you lose that amazing scent that you've been waiting for perhaps all season, like all year for that seasoned candle to come back. With that being said, these are my top three, probably favorite scents in the fall. Um, the the one thing I will say is Radiant Red Maple, I was melting a little bit in my melting basket for October. And oddly enough, I'm so sad to say, Radiant Red Maple is struggling with scent throat this year. Um, currently I've been melting it a couple times in October and found it to be very, very weak. So I'm a little concerned because this is a great scent as a candle, but again, you never know how the burn goes. But Radiant Red Maple, I have that one pulled. And then we have Cider Lane, which is like everyone's favorite. So I'm gonna be melting this as well. It's just a perfect scent for the time of year that it is. And my beloved cranberry pumpkin, screw the pink petal tea cake, folks. I'm sorry, stop making pink petal tea cake. It's so overdone now. <laughs> Everyone was screaming for it. I want this one back. This has not come back since I wanna say 2014, 2015. I want this one back so bad. It is a cranberry pumpkin. It's so, so good. I wish it would come back, which interestingly enough, I'm gonna reach across the table here because my friend Teresa sent me these melts actually from Sassy Girl Aroma, which I am going to compare because Sassy Girl Aroma, I think they're trying to dupe the Bath and Body Works beloved cranberry pumpkin. This is cranberry pumpkin or pumpkin cranberry. So I'm hoping they smell very similar, but I will obviously get back to you and let you know what my thoughts are, but I wish they would bring this candle back. And if they did, I would buy probably a half dozen, which is saying a lot. I don't normally do that. So yeah. I, I love this one. Then we have a couple Southbound Candle Co. little bakery bags, which Southbound Candle Company is awesome. They have great different scents, seasonal and, as well as others. And I bought these ones and specifically held onto them for this time of year. We have Pumpkin Cream Puffs. I actually had this in my melting basket. And I had melted it a couple times in the month of October and really enjoyed it. This is Sweet Pumpkin Buttery Pastry Dough, Creamy Vanilla Custard, Sweet Cream, confectioner's sugar and a hint of spice and the shapes of these are absolutely cute so then we have cafe disco and this is roasted coffee beans and creamy vanilla custard drizzled with over soft salty warm pretzels so the disco cafe or cafe disco is my first time melting this one um, actually both of them are my first times with these and i'm looking forward to it. this one so far smells really good guys this one i can't wait to give it a shot i am bringing this over from my october melting basket to the november one this is my absolute favorite wax melt from Swan Creek. These are soy wax melts. They're quite large. Like look at that. It's a pretty thick piece compared to these little cubes. With that being said, this is a soy wax soy wax <laughs> i guess is what i'm trying to say and normally soy wax melts the scent is very strong at first but it dissipates very quickly not with this particular scent in fact you can scent your entire space you can if you have a 3,000 square foot house i'm sure you probably smell it in every area in your house it is beautiful it truly is honey soaked apples which is saying a lot because i'm not a huge honey fan i just get beautiful green apples and i love this scent and it's hard because i can't get it in canada but i can get it in the states so when i was in the states last i stocked up but this is the last Last one, so sad. All right, and then we're gonna talk about rainbow melts. I am bringing this one over from my melting basket in October, and this is called Kim and Ramona's Excellent Adventure, which is coffee and cranberry and tres leches cake. So this is lovely, it's gonna be used all around the house. And then I have two little, I think they came from the Christmas sampler from last year. Yeah, probably last year, 2022. This one here is Rocking Chair, which is barn wood vanilla balsam and bourbon butterscotch. And then this one here is Comet, which is fizzy pop and ice cranberry with sugar plum. So yes, very much looking forward to trying those. And this one, I'll just I'll just chop these ones up into little pieces, spread the wealth around all of the warmers. This is Cafe, or sorry, Coffee, Coffee Cafe. And this is Espresso Vanilla Cake and Cinnamon Swirl. And this one here is Central Perk. And this one is described as Apple Cinnamon Donuts, Whipped Cream and Espresso. And I love coffee scents, but I love coffee to be coffee forward. I need the coffee to come out first and then all the other blends for me to be like super satisfied with it. I don't drink a lot of coffee, but I do love the smell of it. 
Then we have one more leaf left in the What a Glorious Morning Makes Me Sick, which is Campfire S'mores Latte. I'm bringing this over from my melting basket in October. I really enjoy this one. Cut this up into a few pieces. Then we have all these bun cakes. I have one, two, three full sets and a half a set right here. This one here I already melted um, in October. This is Fireside Pumpkin, which is Roasted Pumpkin's Fall Spice fire roasted marshmallows. So really great. And I mean, I've been holding on to these for since 2021 ish, I want to say. Um, and then this set of bunts, again, you can cut these in, they're huge. So cut them into many, many pieces. They go a long way. Pumpkin spice latte with whip, which is pumpkin spice espresso and a dash of whipped cream. Then we have apple cinnamon donuts, sweet apples, grated cinnamon and fresh donuts. And again, they're huge. And the last bunts, set of blunts <laughs> is harvest festival which is sweet cranberries dried orange peel and autumn spices this one i've been looking forward to melting for like two years i think this year we got to do it <laughs> i keep putting it off and putting it for the next year like vcs their wax lasts a long time so i'm never worried about centro we have a coffee i think this is a movie reel chunk and this is like a fortune teller chunk at nelly's espresso cupcakes espresso beans rich vanilla cupcakes suit zucchini bread and sugar cookies is this one and last but not least we have the witching hour pumpkin cream cheese cinnamon glazed baklava and that folks is everything and that like i said it's it's a lot don't get me wrong it's a ton of stuff and i likely will not get through it all because for example like this will take me forever to get through so once i start that i won't finish I, I will finish it i won't just start picking that's just how i am i i this that's how i melt everyone's different so that said it's going to take me a little while and you're probably going to see some of these items going into the december box like in december my melting basket it will be like piney pepperminty winter like full-on wintry scents so that's what you're going to see and this isn't even showing you guys what i have that i have planned to uh, burn in candles i never show you that rather i do show you at the end of the month what I am burning and also if you guys are familiar every Wednesday right now you guys pick which candle from Bath and Body Works you want me to burn and right now I think it's praline the light one for this coming Wednesday so the day after this video this is a bonus video so the day after this video we'll have the praline delight review and round up because I really want to dive into my candles to find out before candle day, which is December 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, what I want to buy more of, what was good, what wasn't good, that kind of thing. And I want to share with you guys my thoughts. And it's kind of going back old school to the way I used to do candle reviews, which is how I started my channel years ago, eight years ago, actually. Anyway, you guys, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Be safe, take care, and have fun. Bye, guys.